there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Born Book Book for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update and this is all about a brand new Wreck-It Ralph attraction that could be coming to the Walt Disney World Resort. Now, before we get started, thank you all so so much, those who have watched back and were tuned in live to the We Go Live for Hashtag Hope for Home yesterday, it was an amazing success. Um, I checked my Tiltify donation page and none of you have donated yet, so... All the donation links will be in the description down below again uh, for, for all the videos up until May. Um, and you can go and check out the description link. Even if it's just one pound, translate it to one dollar. Please just donate something. Um, if you can, obviously, if you can't, then that's absolutely. If you physically can't, that's absolutely fine. But if you could donate at least one dollar, please, because one dollar could make all the difference. Just one. Um, now, camcorder situation. That is being resolved. We've got one that's set to come on Saturday. Could be before, could be after. After all, it is Amazon. But uh, it's the, the due date is this Saturday. So you will see, you won't be having the phone quality for much longer. Uh, now, this camcorder is not, the, not pr practically the same as my old one. Uh, the old Panasonic. But it is a newer variation of the Panasonic. So it doesn't look exactly that different. But it's got like an inbuilt light. It's got like a little extension, so you can get like a, a, a bit like a mic attached to it on top. So it is a better, newer version of it. But it doesn't look that different. It looks a little bit different, but not that diff, not like a massive difference to the old one. So uh, it's not quite 4K, but we'll manage. Uh, it's still full HD, which is good enough for these guys and good enough for this channel. Uh, so, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the see you in my future video. Please keep getting your questions in, because in a couple of weeks, we're going to be filming the Q&A video to celebrate 1,500 subscribers. That'll be coming in a couple of weeks' time. So, I'm going to put the word out on Instagram again, so stay tuned for that. And now, guys, let's get into this video. So, this is all about a Wreck-It Ralph attraction. Now, Stitcher's Great Escape is quite a controversial dart ride in the theme park community industry. Uh, now, Stitch's Great Escape has been talked about removal for a little bit, but we now have a news article that was published a couple of weeks ago from Walt Disney World News Today. Yes, I'm late to it, but I wanted to accumulate my thoughts over, the over that one week break and sort of caught with a time slot to film it. Uh, to film this video. Uh, so we're going to take a look at all the details surrounding this and also share my thoughts. So. All the information you're going to see is from Walt Disney World News Today's article. I'll put that link in the description down below. Uh, and let's have a look at the details then. So, Walt Disney World News Today has reported back in 2018 that Walt Disney Imagineering was once again developing a Wreck-It Ralph based attraction to replace the, in quote, seasonal. I think we can now all agree that it's gone and we were right, I would hope, Stitch's Great Escape in Tomorrowland at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom theme park. Well, now it seems that work is set to commence, as recent permits, notices of commencement, were filed for demolition of the theatre's interior. Now, you can see that image of the notice of commencement on the article, which, again, is in the description. Uh, according to sources, the new Racket Ralph attraction will reuse the existing theatre in the ground, uh, in the round, from Great Escape, which was also used for Alien Encounter, Mission to Mars, and Flight to the Moon but it would attach video game style controllers to every guest seat. Now construction halted throughout the Walt Disney World properties due to the coronavirus. Progress all depends on when things will return to normality, but it's clear the project is moving forward for the time being. The current Stitch meet and greet will likely be closed upon the park's reopening, whenever that might be. And if all goes according to plan, the Wreck-It Ralph attraction in Tomorrowland will be coming to the park our way in 2022, directly following the opening of the Tron Light Cycle Run roller coaster in 2021. These additions, combined with the ongoing cosmetic changes in Tomorrowland, should provide the base for a new version of the area for Magic Kingdom. So it all starts with that Tron Light Cycle Power Run coaster in 2021, manufactured by Vacoma. Um, and it sort of follows on from that in 2022 with this Stitch's Great Escape replacement with a Wreck-It Ralph attraction. Now, we don't know at the stage whether it's e-ticket. I think with Stitch's Great Escape, I, I, I think with that being the replacement of it, I think it won't be an e-ticket attraction. But 
I like how they're utilizing the in the round space that they've used for previous attractions, including Skitches, Stitches Grace, Skitches, Stitches Grace Gate. Uh, and basically just attaching these video game style controls to create the feel of the Wreck-It Ralph uh, atmosphere. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what how the ride system's going to work, uh, how the story's going to work, is it going to be a custom-made story for the ride, if there's going to be more Wreck-It Ralph attractions, will it be the same story, will it be different stories for each individual park? We don't know at this stage, but I'm hoping we get more information once things return to normalcy in the real world. Uh, but from the sounds of it, from the sounds of the article, it sounds very much like this is going to be very much concrete plans for a new attraction. Now, we've reported on Disney's tra attractions that are going to be opening in a few years' time, in a couple of years' time, whenever it will open. Uh, and, you know, we're talking about future attractions here. We've talked about Disneyland Paris with their uh, Frozen and... Uh, you know, different areas expanded in the Walt Disney Studios Park, uh, which accumulates with the Star Wars land around 2025, maybe 2026. Uh, so, with this being the re first report on it now, obviously we're going to have some more reports over the next couple of years, leading up to that opening date in 2022. Uh, of course, that again relies on when things go back to normality so you could be seeing reports on this new attraction for a good couple of years on this channel so uh, i really hope you guys stay tuned with the latest updates i'll try and bring the latest updates whenever i can uh, and i really can't wait to bring you guys the latest updates because i think with the video game style controllers and the in the round theatrical space i think it's going to be a very exciting attraction i'm not going to lie i think it's going to be a great attraction i think it's going to be uh, a wonderful addition to magic kingdom uh, i think it's the great um, extra attraction, so we say, uh, when uh, Tron's Light Cycle Power on opens. Uh, now, since we're doing a Disney update, I think it's only fair we cover the year before, and that is, of course, the Tron Light Cycle Power on. This to sort of give you an idea of the re-image of Tomorrowland uh, coming to Magic Kingdom. So, uh, for those of you who need a little bit of information, uh, basically, Tron Light Cycle's Power Run, like I said earlier, it is a Vacoma roller coaster uh, that's set to open in 2021. Uh, it's a custom designed family coaster based on the 2010 movie Tron Legacy. It's enclosed, the track's been completed, all the inside work should have been completed, but of course, Walt Disney World construction progress has stopped due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so, I do believe that. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. I think that uh, it's interesting to to sort of see all of this and to sort of uh, relive the construction period of this. Uh, now, I would definitely say uh, keep your eyes peeled for more Tron construction updates as well. So, technically, we've covered Tron and Wreck-It Ralph, but of course, the main subject of this video is, of course, the Wreck-It Ralph attraction. Now, you look at the Wreck-It Ralph story. This is the sort of final thing I want to cover on this story. You look at the Wreck-It Ralph film. You know it's about this Wreck-It. If you basically, if you don't, if you want, if you don't want spoilers and you haven't seen it, skip forward about a minute or two. For those of you who are still here, Wreck-It Ralph is this gamer villain, this bad guy. He, do, he feels like he doesn't want to be a bad guy. He gets discredited, but he feels like he's not a bad guy inside, even though he is a bad guy in the game. He goes out, breaks his game, uh, goes on. I won't say go on camo, but I, I'd say he goes a wall out of game. Um, and he goes and takes over a new gang, try and get a winner's medal, try and prove he's a good, a good guy. Ends up flying into Sugar Rush and beats Vanellope. And she's been taken over her game by a glitch that used to be uh, an old classic game in the retro days. And then, obviously, he got taken over. He got jealous and tried to take over and abandoned his game. And all those different things going off. And he's the main villain. And Wreck-It Ralph try and saves her. And all these different things going off from different games. So, there's Sonic in there. I think there was like a Mario reference in there. There's Pac-Man in there as well. Um... And can I just say, by the way, the acting as well from uh, from, Fri from Fix It Felix, Vanellope, and all the other characters, but especially from Wreck-It Ralph, played by the amazing John C. Riley. As a musical theatre fan, I know him from Chicago. I know him from the Stan and Ollie film just about a year or two ago. So I know John C. Riley. Uh, and he's, he's a fantastic actor, and he did really good with Wreck-It Ralph. So uh, obviously they've got the sequel now, Ralph Breaks the Internet. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm guessing with the success of the second film, maybe there could be a third one in the mix in the next few years. I'd like to see a third Wreck-It Ralph film, but I'm not too sure how they're going to story it. Uh, but I think the attraction will be a custom-based story, uh, even though it's, you know, inspired around the Wreck-It Ralph films. Um... Now, I'm definitely excited to see what kind of direction they're going to take this. But, again, it's just a waiting game, really. We'll wait for things to come back to normality, and we'll see the construction start to pick up the pace on this uh, and start to see Stitch's Great Escape's interior being ripped out and being replaced by the brand-new Wreck-It Ralph interior. Uh, so, like I said, 2022 is the scheduled opening date for this. Uh, and yeah, I'm very excited. I hope you guys are really excited as well. Comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to reply to every single comment. You know I do. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update from Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom and Wreck-It Ralph's new attraction set to replace Stitch's Great Escape in 2022. My name is Coast Chell. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next news update very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.